rainstorms robbed Vermonters of a summer favorite. Sophia Thomas looks into whether campgrounds are staying afloat. Like most campgrounds across the state, Grand Isles State Park has seen more rain than sun this summer. We booked the, the sites, I think it was back in early March, and uh, we didn't realize this summer was going to be as wet as it has been. Kevin Chamberlain waited all summer to camp with a group of friends from New Hampshire. Swimming, campfires, and biking were at the top of their to-do list. Then the rain came. I was up at 4 and laying there, and now all of a sudden it started raining. And, and we do have like to do biking. And uh, I don't think we're going to go too much far today. At Grand Isle State Park, the drizzle has driven campers to take shelter in lean-tos and brought droves of mosquitoes. They just get on you and start biting you, you know, immediately. Park manager Drew Harrington says they've closed up to five campsites at a time due to flooding. Other campgrounds have fared similarly or gotten even more rainfall. In July, campers at Bomacine State Park found themselves bracing for severe weather in Addison County. Some of our fire pits ended up in water. We actually were out in a tent the night that the tornado touched down in Benton. Despite the rainfall, Vermont's camping rates only slightly dipped. And at popular campgrounds like Grand Isle State Park, the numbers actually increased. These are reservations people have had for months at a time sometimes, and so they're trips people really look forward to and want to make it work, rain or shine. Park officials say day entries for activities like hiking and fishing took the biggest hit, decreasing by 20% statewide. With 29 state parks open until October, staff hope to recoup the losses this fall in drier conditions. For anyone looking to brave the rain, park officials recommend packing bug spray, waterproof clothing, multiple tarps, and boards to stick under vehicle wheels to avoid getting stuck in the mud. Reporting in Grand Isle, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.